Muy buenos días, amigos. My name is Michelle, and welcome to Serious Spanish. Today we're going to talk about some of the most common phrases in Spanish. Um, a good place to start so that even though you might not know what's in the grammar behind the words we're about to learn, you have a few phrases that you can use when you're first meeting somebody or if you're traveling, uh, they will go a long way. Just a few words, a few phrases that you know. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out with greetings. And I think most of us already know that the most common greeting in Spanish is hola. So I'm going to go ahead and say the words and then I'll say it slower and you can practice repeating. So let's try um, this word and it means hi or hello in Spanish. Hola. Hola. Now anytime in the morning, just as in English you would say good morning, in Spanish you can say buenos dias. Buenos dias. And again, that's any time in the morning before around noon. Afternoon and on into evening, you can say buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. And this, again, is good afternoon, but it can also be used at a time of day that in English you might say good evening. Really, any time before dark is a good time to use this greeting. Buenas tardes. After dark seven or eight o'clock in the evening, you can say buenas noches. And typically in English, when we say good night, it's more of a farewell and not so much a greeting. But in Spanish, you can say buenas noches when you first greet somebody and again to give them farewell. Buenas noches. And to make things really easy any time of day, you can just say buenas, buenas. Say you greeted them and now you want to say, how are you doing? If you're speaking to somebody that maybe you don't know too well, a child speaking to a grown-up who is not their parent or a grandparent, or if it's somebody that you are on more formal terms with, you would say, ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? And you could add usted at the end of that. ¿Cómo está usted? That means, how are you doing? If it's a friend or somebody that you're on very familiar terms with, or maybe you're speaking to a child, you would say, ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? You could also say, ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo te va? Or, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Now, just as in English, there's very many variations and different phrases and different dialects. There are different ways of saying things in the Spanish-speaking world. So if you're in Mexico, you might commonly hear, instead of ¿Cómo está? or ¿Cómo estás? You might hear ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué onda? That's very common in Mexico. I haven't heard it anywhere else. If you're in Colombia, you may hear ¿Qué hubo? ¿Qué hubo? And it's important to understand that these final phrases are more informal. Something you'd say to a friend if you are speaking to somebody on more formal terms, stick with the top phrase. ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo está? So how do you respond to a question if somebody asks you, ¿Cómo estás? If you're having a wonderful day, you can say, estupendo. That's if you're a man. If you're a woman, say estupenda. So that final letter will change in many adjectives depending on if you're a girl or a boy. Or you could say, estoy bien. Estoy bien. Or estoy muy bien. If your day is just so-so, you can tell them, más o menos. Más o menos. Or you could say, así, así. Así, así. If you're really having a hard day, you just tell them, estoy mal. Estoy mal. And then, of course, 
When somebody asks you how you're doing, you want to thank them and return the question. Gracias. ¿Y usted? Or if you're speaking on more familiar terms, gracias. ¿Y tú? Okay, we've gotten through the greetings and asking and responding to how are you doing. Now, the three important phrases that you must know in any language are how to say please, thank you, and you're welcome. Or what, when I was growing up, we called them the magic words. Most of us already know that to say please in Spanish, you say, por favor, por favor. You might hear it sometimes. Uh, somebody may shorten that to porfas, or porfa, or porfis. And that's kind of a slang way of saying, por favor. How do you say thank you? Gracias. 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 If you're very appreciative, you could say, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Or you could change things up a little bit and say, te lo agradezco. Te lo agradezco. And that literally means I appreciate it. I'm appreciative to you for it. And that is the informal way of saying that. So responding to gracias, you would say, de nada, de nada. You're welcome. Instead of you're welcome or de nada, you could say, con gusto. It's like saying happy to help. Or, a la orden, a la orden. It's like at your service. What's your name? Well, if you're speaking in a formal context, you would say, ¿Cómo se llama? Or, ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama usted? You could also say, ¿Cuál es su nombre? ¿Cuál es su nombre? And that's even a little bit more formal, something that maybe a doctor might ask his patient or you might find it on paperwork that you're filling out. ¿Cuál es su nombre? And those again are formal ways of asking what's your name. When you're speaking informally, you would just simply say, ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? And to answer that, you could say, me llamo, me llamo Michelle. You could say, mi nombre es, mi nombre es Michelle. Or simplemente, <laughs> simply, you could say, soy Michelle, soy, it means I am. But sometimes that's the way people explain what their name is, soy. How do you say nice to meet you? Well, there's several different ways. You could say, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. You could say, gusto de conocerlo. If you're speaking to a man formally, gusto de conocerla. If you're speaking to a woman, or if you're speaking to somebody informally, just simply, gusto de conocerte. You could also reply, encantado or encantada. Encantado. And it means, pleased to meet you. Or you could say, es un placer. Es un placer. It's a pleasure. So, we've met somebody, we've asked how their day is going, we've learned their names, we know the magic words, now it's time to say goodbye. The simplest way to do that is, adios. Adios. However, this is sometimes seems a little cold just to say adios. You're going to want to learn a few others. Hasta luego, which really means until later. So it's not just goodbye, it's until later. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. You could also say nos vemos or nos vemos pronto. Nos vemos pronto which means see you or see you soon. Or hasta la próxima, hasta la próxima, which literally means until next, implying until next time. 
until next time we meet. And you may often hear, ciao, ciao. It's another short way to say goodbye. You may also hear people saying, bye. So with that, I'm going to tell you hasta luego, hasta la próxima, adios, see you soon.